hello students today let us define unit charge or we can define one coulomb charge okay so what do you mean by coulomb that is si unit of electric charge right if they ask you to mention si unit of electric charge it is just enough to write coulomb coulomb is known as si unit of electric charge but in this question you need to define unit charge that means you need to define unit of charge or you need to define one coulomb charge that means you have to write the answer in sentence be careful okay so usually they will ask this for one mark so here if, if they ask you to define the unit of charge then you have to write the answer in sentence or or else if they ask you to just mention what is the unit of electric charge like that if they ask it is just enough to write coulomb okay but here you need to define it so how you can define unit charge or how you can define one coulomb charge in the last session we discussed about coulomb's law right so we got an expression for that the force electrostatic force between any two charges any two stationary charges separated by certain distance in vacuum that electrostatic force is given by k into q1 q2 divided by r square right where q1 q2 are magnitude of charges and r is the distance of separation between that two charges right now <coughs> okay i will write it in diagram so q1 and q2 are the two charges separated by certain distance r okay now the force between them is f now using this expression we can define unit charge or we can define one coulomb how we just consider this q1 and q2 as unity that means if the value of q1 that is equal to 1 coulomb that is that means unit unit charge okay 1 coulomb is unit charge unity 1 similarly q2 it is also equal to 1 coulomb that means you have two equal and similar charges now magnitudes are equal 1 coulomb 1 coulomb and what about sign here I have considered plus 1 coulomb, here also plus 1 coulomb. If the sign is not mentioned, that means value is positive. Okay. Therefore, I have considered two similar and equal charges separated by certain distance. And again, if you consider that separation as unity, that means if you consider two charges, 1 coulomb each, separated by distance of 1 meter, then what is the value of this force can you get the expression or the value of that just substitute these values in this expression so what do you get so we have f equal to k so what do you mean by k electrostatic force constant what is its value 9 into 10 power 9 so k value is 9 into 10 power 9 ah, into what is q1 here 1 1 coulomb what about q2 that is also 1 coulomb right divided by r square that means r is 1 meter therefore 1 square so if you simplify what you get okay this is 1 coulomb 1 coulomb each okay anyhow so what do you get this is 1 square 1 so finally you get 9 into 10 power 9 itself so now this is force so what is unit of force it is newton right so what we got if two equal and similar charges are separated by a distance of one meter apart then the force between them so which which what is the nature of force here these are similar charges therefore the force must be repulsive right Therefore, if you consider similar charges, they repel each other. Therefore, this 9 into 10 power 9 Newton is a force of 
repulsion right yes so using this how you can define actually this one coulomb one coulomb that is what unit charge right that is what unit charge means therefore using this expression we can define that unit charge how this unit charge is that when separated by equal and similar charge by a distance of 1 meter by a distance of 1 meter repel each other with a force of 9 into 10 power 9 Newton then that particular charge is known as unit charge I will repeat okay you can just note down that sentence okay so here it is a unit charge a unit charge just note down that okay a unit charge or one coulomb charge is that charge when placed at rest okay so this coulomb's law in the last session all itself i have mentioned that so the coulomb's law is applicable for stationary point charges and these two charges are kept in vacuum right therefore when placed at rest in vacuum at a distance of 1 meter from an equal and similar charge repels it with a force of 9 into 10 power 9 Newton. So that particular charge is known as unit charge or 1 coulomb charge. Okay, Just go through the definition once again. Okay, it looks lengthier, but you have to understand the meaning of that sentence. Okay, then it will be easier. So, unit charge is that particular charge when placed at a distance of 1 meter apart from equal and similar charge repel each other with a force of 9 into 10 power 9 Newton. Okay, so that particular charge is known as unit charge or 1 coulomb charge. So very very important usually they ask this question for one mark okay you need to define write it in sentence okay so what you have considered here first you need to take both charges as unity that is one coulomb right and they are separated by a distance of one meter apart so if you apply that in this coulomb's law then you will get the force of repulsion between them as 9 into 10 power 9 newton so using that you can define that one coulomb charge okay yes